in today's video, we're gonna be going over five different movies that I feel like every sneakerhead must see. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Growing up in the 90s, I used to watch so many movies and I never realized how iconic they were until I got older. Back then, we had so many athletes that were at the top of their game and considered to be some of the best athletes to ever play the game. And because of that, the shoes that they wore on the court caused people to wear their shoes off the court as well. Also during that time, Michael Jordan had a lot of collaborations with Spike Lee when it came to commercials and incorporating his sneakers into Spike Lee films. Let's go ahead and get started with movie number one. These are in no particular order and trust me there are way more than five movies that are sneakerhead related movies but these ones are the first ones that came to the top of my head starting off strong we have space jam this is a movie that is extremely iconic and so many people remember so many different moments especially with the collaboration with looney tunes alone people love the cartoons they love jordan they mix the two together next thing you know you have a great movie but there were some very iconic moments throughout this movie as well that a lot of people remember when it comes to the sneakers that were worn in the movie. This film came out in 1996 and starred Michael Jordan as the main character playing himself in the movie. And the most iconic sneaker that everybody remembers from this movie is going to be the Space Jam Air Jordan 11. This was a new sneaker that had just came out and a lot of people saw him rocking the breads and the Concords, winning different championships and everything like that. And when they saw the Space Jam version for the movie in particular, everybody went crazy. And over the years, we have seen this sneaker retro a couple times and every Everybody just loves them. Another sneaker that some people may or may not remember, but you also have the white and black Air Jordan 9. Some people call this the playoff nines. He wore this sneaker during basketball practice when all the tunes were getting together and trying to get their team chemistry and everything like that. But if you haven't seen this movie, go ahead and check it out. I don't want to spoil any of these movies for you. Just want to pinpoint some of the sneakerhead moments within the movies. And trust me, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I low key did have to put this first on the list because of that reason. But again, it's not in any particular order. Next up on the list, we have White Man Can't Jump. I will never forget watching this movie over and over and over again as a kid growing up. It was always hilarious, serious, so many different emotions were going throughout this movie. But one thing that I can say, I'll never forget the shoes that Billy Hoya was rocking. This movie came out in 1992 starring Wesley Snipes as Sidney Dean and Woody Harrison as Billy Hoya. One shoe in particular that really stood out in this movie was the Nike Air Command Force that Billy Hoya wore. And Nike has retro this sneaker a couple different times and everybody always call them the Billy Hoyas simply because of the movie and that's kind of one of the reasons why it made that sneaker so dope. Obviously during the early 90s there were a lot of great iconic models that were also worn in this movie so I definitely suggest you check it out. It's going to be a very interesting one. Again it's talking about some guys hustling during basketball trying to make some money on and off the court and everything like that. So it's very very interesting movie. Again I don't want to spoil anything but I definitely recommend you watch it and check out the sneakers that you see the other guys wearing on and off the court throughout the movie. Next up on on the list we have a very iconic movie from 1989 and that is do the right thing this is another spike lee joint and he actually starred as one of the main characters his name was mookie in the movie and i'm telling you right now there is so much representation symbolism and so many other things of the culture the community and everything that's going on in society from 1989 that is still happening to this day so see the message that spike lee is trying to preach and also understand that there is a lot more than just the film and the sneakers in this movie this is actually a pretty deep yet cool and funny and hilarious movie at the same time so i definitely recommend a lot of people see this movie if they haven't already or if you haven't seen this movie in 10 plus years or 20 years or whatever go back and rewatch watch it and then relate that to our current time right now and you'll be like damn this is crazy spike lee is a genius now i think one of the most iconic moments from this movie at least in my mind when it comes to sneakers is when bugging out got his shoes scuffed and he went crazy everybody all gathered around bugging out once his shoe got scuffed he was yelling at the guy and then he's talking about gentrification and all these other different things i'm just telling you right now this was a very iconic moment and he was wearing the white cement air jordan fours and it's actually crazy because they did a very exclusive drop for that sneaker with a scuffed up version recreating the version from back in 1989 and it's a very limited release and low-key that's a shoe that i really want to get in my collection i'm looking for a size 13 if anybody has one let me know because i really want to get those in my collection now let's take it to the next movie this one again man the all these movies are great but this next one another great movie and spike lee also had something to do with this movie as well and that is he got game two of the star characters from this movie were denzel washington playing 
playing as Jake Shuttlesworth and Ray Allen, the young high school prospect, getting ready to go big time, playing as Jesus Shuttlesworth. And we cannot forget the moment when Denzel went to go get his fresh pair of new 13s that just came out. This movie dropped in 1998, which was the time that the Jordan 13 was dropping. So it was a perfect time to integrate it within the movie, obviously with him working with Spike Lee and everything. So you kind of see how everything comes full circle from that moment. They featured the shoe in the movie, and next thing you know, that became the name of the shoe. And to this day, every time the shoe drops, people call that the Air Jordan 13, he got game. And I'm sure a lot of you have this shoe in your collection or want to have this shoe in your collection. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you have these. Now, before we get to the next movie, we also have to mention another sneaker that was featured in this movie. Again, there were other sneakers as well, but I think another iconic shoe that I saw in this movie that really stood out, similar to Space Jam, how we had the big glorified Space Jam 11, yet he wore the Jordan 9s. I think we have the big glorified Jordan 13, but we also forgot about the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Pearl. Foam Posit was hot on the scene and they had Jesus Shuttleworth wearing these in the park sitting on the bench. And in my opinion, that shoe is extremely fire. I have Foam Posits in my collection. I love Foam Posits. So those two shoes in particular are very iconic models that really stood out to me in that film. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. There's definitely a lot of value in that movie as well, especially for a young man like me being a person of color. Now on to the last movie on this list. And trust me, I'm already excited to feature another set of movies in a whole another video but we got a good one to finish it off with a bang and we're talking about back to the future this was a three-part movie series and the first movie came out in 1985 part two in 1989 and part three in 1990 for the part two movie in particular from 1989 the nike air mag was featured in that movie and i'm telling you right now that is probably one of the most iconic sneakers in the history of of sneakers when you ask a lot of people or talk to a lot of people even people that don't even know about sneakers that is one of the most common questions do you have the nike air mags have you heard of the nike air mags can you believe how much the nike air mags are worth michael j fox starred as marty mcfly in the movie series and everybody remembers him going to the future hopping on the hoverboard and trying to fly away from the bad guys and navigate himself figuring out what's going on how am i floating this is crazy right now all these other things but either way i'm telling you it's a great movie series you definitely have to see it you should definitely start from one go to two and three i wouldn't say just jump in the middle you want to get the full storyline and everything like that and we cannot forget to mention dr emmett brown christopher lloyd played this character and we still see him in iconic commercials to this day playing as that character and every time i see him in anything i always think of him from back to the future this was definitely a very iconic movie and probably one of the most expensive sneakers on the list that you would see from all the movies that i showed you with the different sneakers and everything like that but yes this was five different videos that i feel like every sneaker head has to see or re-watch or have watched a million times or whatever you want to call it or if you want to reminisce on any of these movies or anything like that definitely go check them out drop a comment down below and let me know which one of these movies are your favorite in the comment section and give me some recommendations for a future video like this with another five set of movies another one that comes to my mind just now after thinking about it remember like mike that was a good movie but anyways we could talk about about that in a whole nother video so i'll see you guys in another one i appreciate you as always and now i'm about to go watch me one of these movies Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside y'all thought i was playing i'm really out here watching this movie oh and by the way if y'all haven't already Make sure y'all subscribe. We're almost at a million subscribers, so I need y'all to hit that subscribe button.